This video is called, Can a Black Woman Be a Fan of Tom McDonald? Um, what? I paved your road, real indie since 01. Now I'm Marvin oh, Gaye's yeah. father, I'm killing my own son. I'm trying to find my words. I mean, that really happened, right? Didn't Marvin Gaye or something like that, he showed up drunk to his um, father's house. Like, Marvin Gaye was really belligerent one night, like being very violent and out of self-defense. I believe his father uh, shot him. Again, if I'm saying it wrong, y'all correct me in the comments, man. But uh, shouts to Brit Reacts. This is her video. Let's see what she says about it. I often see a lot of hate under my Tom McDonald videos because I think what I choose to do is find what I think is his intention. But I think every single artist, celebrity in this day and age also knows in order to be viable, marketable, successful, you have to have a level of clickbait, a level of... Uh, no, you don't. I don't think you do. Nah, I don't, I don't, I really don't think you do, man, to be honest with you. A lot, I think a lot of people think that when you're trying to break into the industry, but there are plenty of organic artists that are killing it right now. Uh, one group is called the Drain Gang. Have y'all heard of Drain Gang, Sad Boys, Young Lean? Crazy names, right? I have zero sign, I, I, I sense zero signs of clickbait from those guys. It's a bunch of Scandinavian guys who just make cool ass shit, man. And they got a huge fan base. Are you going to see them on commercials and all this other, you know, Illuminati promotion type shit? No. But I guarantee you, if they do a show in your city, it's going to be sold the fuck out. Um, what's another one? Um, I was, there's, a, there's a lot of other ones, man. I don't really be listening to a lot of other. You know a band called Jungle? Very popular band. You know, they make dope music. Now, are they mainstream popular? No, but they have a huge fan base. So, uh, yeah, I disagree. You don't have to have the clickbait shit. I think the clickbait shit helps you get into the industry faster. But at the end of the day, like, when you, you have to kind of come in the same way. Uh, you have to go, go out the same way you come in. So, you come in with this clickbait stuff. Unfortunately, you have to keep doing that bullshit, man. That's why you see all these artists that promote their music. These artists are damn near comedians now. I don't even know. I was like, I see these posts on TikTok and, and Instagram. I'm like, bro, are you a rapper or are you a, a, a fucking comedian? Like, I don't get it. Like, the comedian stuff is dope. And then you find out, oh, I got an album. I'm like, nigga, I ain't trying to hear all that. Bro, get back to the comedian shit. So. Successful, you have to have a level of clickbait, a level of controversy, a level of shock value no. to even get the views you know, that yeah. are nowadays so important to success. That's what it seems I mean, like, but I, I I disagree, though. You know, that are nowadays so important to success. I do also, too, believe that people can skew things to the way that they want them to be, mm -hmm. how they want to hear them. And only Tom can say what his songs really are about. But again, the accusations here are wild. Yeah. Can a black woman be a fan of Tom? I mean, who's saying it? You can listen to whatever the fuck you want to listen to. So shout out to Brit Reacts. Y'all go make sure to follow her page, man. Um, yeah, this is dope. She's on the road to 500,000 subscribers, man. Go help homegirl out and subscribe to her page. Yeah, man, we out, man.